often say, don't they, what's in a name? And particularly in this world that we live in today, a brand name is everything, isn't it, you know? And it's the thing that we recognize it by. It can be really the sort of thing that we look at and say, well, you know, would we buy it if it was called something differently? A lot of people over here in the United Kingdom will remember that the Snickers bar, which is now called Snickers, obviously, we used to be called Marathon. And it's one of those lovely, delicious chocolate peanutty bars. And I still refer to it as a marathon because the colouring is the same, it's just the name that has changed. And it's fascinating, isn't it, to think that we get stuck in a brand name. Now, this is seemingly a brand new problem for none other than Meghan Markle, otherwise known as Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, as she likes to brand herself, seemingly because she's launched. And now, once again, seemingly, there are problems. Let me explain. Morning, nice to see you today and as ever, thank you so much for taking the time out. Lovely to have your company. This is Cavendish Square that I'm just trying to show you a little bit around here. It's in the very heart of London, literally behind Oxford Street, you know, the next street down. What's interesting is it's an oasis of calm. You know, Oxford Street full of all the shopping and all that sort of stuff. Then you literally walk up a side street behind John Lewis, if you know that, and there it is. And of course, uh, put together by the Duke of Cavendish, uh, for some of his team yes to relax and the gardens in those days though you had to have a special key it's not it wasn't yes you see that's always always about money isn't it and you had to have a key to get in the gardens now you can just wander in yourself beautiful particularly in the summer when all the flowers come out back as ever though to your royal story of the day yes less than a week down the line and the american riviera orchard which i said uh, sort of reminds me of the possible retirement home i could be going to at some stage in the future what do you mean tomorrow neil but you know what i mean they always have these glitzy names don't they to make it think like it's it's going to be wonderful and they're not all that wonderful are they you know no no yes well that's the thing well america riviera orchard apparently is failing to register not just with the british public uh, but of course the worldwide public and this was a problem i've been told for megan and her team let me explain you see when they were putting all of this together you would imagine that you know here we go it's a bit like goo you know, when you think about it, Goop is Gwyneth Paltrow's company, but there are initials in there, you know, GP. Now you think about it and you go, well, Gwyneth Paltrow Goop, it's a very easy name to remember. I think it's a bit ridiculous myself. I would have called it Meghan Markle, um, sorry, it's a bit ridiculous in my opinion. I would have called it Gwyneth Paltrow World or something like that, whatever. Over here we had a TV presenter, uh, Holly Willoughby, and she tried a, a lifestyle brand, and I think she called it Wild Moon. Why? You know, you're known as one thing. Now, this was the argument that Meghan's team had. They simply wanted the brand to be Meghan Markle Home. Apparently, she didn't think that was authentic enough for the sort of lifestyle brand <laughs> that she was putting together. And she came up with this one. And of course, when you're paying people, you see, this is the thing, when you're paying people a lot of money, they'll all nod like nodding dogs, the back of a car, you know, oh yeah, marvellous, yeah. And then when it goes wrong, then it's your fault because you didn't say that it wasn't going to work. Now, it's too early to say just exactly how they're going to rebrand. But the thing is, the bigger picture is that you see around the world, if you want to get endorsements, influencers, deals, that sort of stuff, they want to be sure that people are going to find it. And people seemingly are not looking for American Riviera Orchard. We've seen that with the Instagram levels and of course the search engines on the internet. So Megan once again could find a shall we say rebrand comeback faster than even she possibly would have thought. Now who's brave enough to tell her that? Neil Shaw in Cavendish Square, London.